England's first permanent settlement in North America was named Jamestown in Virginia. It was 1607 and the migration and colonization of Great Britain continued. By the 1770s, 13 colonies had emerged. The colonists in America were citizens of Great Britain and subject to King George III, who appointed royal governors throughout the colonies. The colonies were the property of Great Britain, with whom they were required to trade and to whom the colonists were required to pay taxes. Increasing control from England was met with resistance. For example, Parliament passed the Quartering Act, which stated that the Americans needed to either pay for or provide lodging and support for British soldiers stationed in America. The colonists thought this was crazy. Another harsh tax came through the Stamp Act, which required that many printed materials in the colonies be produced on specially stamped paper produced in London. These materials included legal papers, magazines, newspapers, and playing cards. The Americans began to push back. They refused to buy British goods and trade with Great Britain. The bottom line is that the decision and taxes were being imposed upon these American colonists, and they had no vote, no control, no influence, and no representation in the Parliament of England. Complaints to the king were ignored. In Boston, Massachusetts, some colonists protested by disguising themselves as Indians. Sneaking aboard ships in the harbor, they dumped the cargo of tea into the seawater. The Boston Tea Party caused Great Britain to close the port and impose punishment for this rebellion. The other colonies also rebelled, which began the outbreak of the American Revolutionary War in 1775. The Second Continental Congress was organized by delegates and representatives of the American colonies. These men gathered to decide what would and could be done to defend the rights and lives of the Americans against the tyranny of Great Britain. The committee included Benjamin Franklin, John Adams, Roger Sherman, Robert Livingston, and Thomas Jefferson drafted a document which explained the purpose of the government, listed complaints and grievances against the king and the rule of Great Britain, proclaimed a declaration of war against the oppressors, announced the intent of the American colonies to separate from control of the king and rule of Great Britain, a declaration of independence. Independence to the Americans meant they wanted to govern themselves and establish their own government without interference from the King of Britain. One of the most famous lines in history summed up what they wanted. It is included in the preamble, and it says, We hold these truths to be self-evident, that all men are created equal, that they are endowed by their Creator with certain unalienable rights, that among these are life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. The Declaration of Independence is considered to be the founding document of American history. These people wanted nothing less that people want today, to live in peace and prosperity. The Declaration of Independence also summarized the abuses imposed by King George III and the British. Interference with the colonists who wanted to have their own government charging taxes on the colonists without cause or reason, taking away their right to have a trial by jury. They were not permitted to trade freely. American ships were seized at seas, and people, called mercenaries, were hired by the king to fight against the colonists. The Declaration of Independence was ratified by the Congress on July 4, 1776. That was our Independence Day. Of all the signatures, John Hancock stands out as the most prominent. It's as though he was screaming out across the ocean to Great Britain, Hey, King, you are no longer over us. The Revolutionary War would continue to be fought until the American colonists got their point understood. They would not surrender. They would not quit. They were no longer subjects of King George III of Great Britain. Hope you had fun learning with us. 
visit us at learnbright.org. For thousands of free resources and turnkey solutions for teachers and homeschoolers.